I think when brands even think about working with creators, first you need to understand what the creator's audience and community is like. You need to make sure you're partnering with brands that have something they can provide to your audience and or are brands that you actually incorporate into your daily lives. Brands choose to work through creators and not with creators. When I'm looking to see which brands I'm willing to accept and do campaigns with, I'm only focused on whether or not their brief and their intention matches my community's intention and what I've built already. So as long as a brand cares about being part of the community and not using my community to join theirs, that's the only thing that's necessary. I'm a really big believer in natural life integration when it comes to sponsored content. I like to do a, like a long-term partnership almost and, and start incorporating the products in my everyday life. My audience sees it all the time and it doesn't feel like an ad one time and then you know I never talk about it again. I think a lot of times content creators feel a little disjointed from working with brands and I feel like a lot of one-on-one -on -one time and getting to know them and what they also want to experiment is really important. The most essential element is making sure that you're giving the creator, um, creative agency, and actually working with them as sort of a social strategist and listening to them. You really have to find creators that fit your brand, are authentic to your brand, and resonate with your audience. Give them the, the space and the opportunity to showcase their creativity and weave your brand in organically. You have to just be cool. If it's cool, I'm gonna say yes. The best way for brands to be creative on social media is Having a lot of like creative think tanks within the team. Hire a Gen Z intern, please. I don't think that typical social media managers oftentimes get some of the nuances of our jokes and our trends. So as long as you have somebody tapped in and you're talking to us, then you can be what we're about. Being able to move with the times will always make our content shine because you can do the same thing another brand is doing, but I think the individuality and expression comes from the team within. Not put too much thought in it, have some fun, and not get too caught up in like the brand guidelines. Making sure you're spending time with your followers, with your listeners, with whoever it is on the platforms that they're on, and just making sure they know that they're a priority and you care about them and want them to feel like they're a part of something. Be inspirational. People are overwhelmed right now, so think about how to connect with the user in a way that's truly like inspirational and showcase an expertise, like teach me something, right? Versus just telling me something. My biggest creative inspiration is my Snapchat audience. My podcast listeners. The first one that comes to mind is Girl Boss Town. I love her. She's authentic, she's so real. I am a Taylor Swift fan. She's really inspirational to me and has been throughout my whole career. I really like RuPaul. He just is smart. If you've ever watched Drag Race, they're trying to sell you something every 10 seconds on that show. You watch the show, and then there's an ad in the show for the other show called Untucked, and then you're also watching the show that is laced with RuPaul's music, so you go and stream his music, and it's just, they build such a great world. Honestly, probably one of my biggest ones is Walt Disney and Mr. Rogers. They were storytellers at the heart of everything. I think they saw things in people and in the world around them that really inspires me to to keep creating and keep wanting to like tell stories.